Mr. G, welcome to my class. This is my little kitten, Peachy. Jeez, Peachy. Uh, how are you guys today? Aloha. So that's a wave, that's an aloha wave. I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. Um, you can either light a candle or curse the dark. Um, I'm choosing to light a candle and teach this wonderful class on West Virginia. Today's only Tuesday. Feels like it's much later in the week. Feels like Wednesday or Thursday, but it's only Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow is the special inauguration. It's a special inauguration. <laughs> it's like a third world country inauguration, right? Uh, so tomorrow's state we're gonna be learning about is Delaware in honor of President Biden. <clears throat> so uh, let me go ahead and turn on the free text to speech. I've uh, been rather busy, busy with other obligations today, so I apologize if um, I apologize if uh, for the late start here today. 
Um, hey Google, play Mozart. All right. Here's Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on Pandora. Hey Google, volume four. MRSG Mermaid. Set. Hi, Mr. G. Aloha. Hey, Mrs. J. Aloha. Welcome to class. I'm very glad you're here, uh, especially since I've been uh, so busy. Colon slash slash. Twitch dot TV. So I should do this on my other phone. MRG underscore live. Okay. Go on the top of the chair here. Ring, ding, ding. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I'm going to change into a more professional attire. I always uh, like to have my shirt tucked in. Uh, whenever I'm teaching, I do, uh, I might possibly have to uh, have a delivery during this class as well. How has your day been? Um, it's been okay, Mrs. J. Um, I have a rule that I don't talk about um, I, I, anymore. Don't talk about the neighbors anymore. Um, but uh, it's been trying. There's been a, a, one eye that has been missing for the past couple of days. There was a huge storm in uh, Honolulu last night. Uh, one eye has been gone for a couple of days. Um, like I said, I don't want to talk about the neighbors. Uh, I think, but I will mention somebody uh, did, uh, I believe, try to donate something to me, like some gardening stuff and some different cleaning stuff. Uh, but it never got to me. Uh, because a lot of times if you just leave it out there, uh, somebody else will grab it. So I know it's a thought that counts, so I appreciate the thought. Uh, but for the person that left stuff out over there, I wish I would have gotten it in time, but I didn't. So, um, okay. So take off the costume for something bit more serious. Um, other than that, um, I uh, just went gross, ordered groceries today, so I have a bunch of fresh fruits and vegetables and a rotisserie chicken. You know, when you go to the grocery store, sometimes you get a rotisserie chicken, right? Um, so I got one of those and I fed, uh, you know, a bunch to Mosey. That sounds nice. Yeah, I fed a bunch to Mosey and uh, Keanu doesn't really like that kind of food. He doesn't really like human food. Uh, but then I fed uh, some to uh, Lucky. Lucky has a new uh, pink collar and pink uh, and name tag and name. phone number. Thank you, uh, Mrs. J. Just put the emojis if you're subscribed to this channel. And, and if you're on uh, Amazon Prime, you get a free subscription. Uh, you, If you subscribe to this channel, then uh, you get to use those emojis as well as uh, re-watching the VODs, because apparently you can only do that if you're a subscriber to the channel. Uh, so, like the screen says, we're going to be learning about uh, West Virginia today. Um, I'm going to talk about it for a couple things. Uh, like I said, I do have a couple things on my mind, but um, it goes back to that famous quote that I started the class with. Um, you can either curse the dark or light a candle. And I've always been one to uh, be optimistic and curse the dark, no, and light the candle. You can either light a candle or curse the dark, so uh, we're gonna light a candle. I'm gonna take off this so. Or actually, I might need this in case the delivery comes. All right, so continuing on, um, I'm gonna stand up here for a minute uh, while I get composed, uh, make sure that I have everything set up. We have a new light fixture so one more bulb I know I've added more bulbs but now we added an additional bulb um, you asked how my day was going Mrs. J and I'm telling you <laughs> well I'm, I'm happy I ordered uh, healthy fruits and vegetables to eat um, not as many processed foods and stuff like that uh, maybe I'll do some cooking later um, I've been doing the gaming streams every day uh, spontaneous uh, not spontaneously but um, sporadically. There's not a set time for those gaming streams. Um, what else? Uh, like I said, tomorrow is the inauguration. We're going to be learning about Delaware. Uh, today's class is going to be about an hour. I have a decent presentation for you. 
Um, I cut myself short yesterday. I didn't give you guys all the presentation. Um, I know me and Countryman were talking about uh, Atlanta being the largest airport. Uh, but that's that, and that day's over with. We're on to a new state, West Virginia. Um, you know, we got a lot of exciting things to talk about with West Virginia. I do. Um, Zip, you can send Mr. G. <laughs> Moses counted packages to 1170 Union Avenue, Pro Box 37305, Honolulu, Hawaii, 96. All right, uh, I do want to change to put this back some, and then down. Oh, or it's not even up. No, it can't be up already. West Virginia is the state that we're learning about today. Today's Tuesday, January 19th. We're going to learn all about West Virginia. Now, West Virginia is a relatively recent state. It became a state. Uh, it's the 30th, fifth state in the United States. It became a state in 1863. Uh, it has, um, it was only one of only two states to become a state during the Civil War. Does anybody know what the other state is? We covered it earlier in the semester. Uh, the other state is Nevada. Nevada and West Virginia are the two states uh, that became states during the Civil War at the request of Abraham Lincoln. Um, West Virginia is also the only state to secede from its previous state. Uh, West Virginia, as you may have guessed, uh, was previously part of Virginia, one of the original 13 colonies. When Virginia was a, one of the 13 colonies, there were still mountain men up in the hills of what is now West Virginia. Um, originally, uh, they were going to change, they were going to, West Virginia, the whole state, uh, was going to be named Kanawha. Um, there was uh, some arguments in the, uh, and a lot of people had uh, problems with the pronunciation. Uh, it's a Indian word. It's named after an Indian tribe, and there's a Kanawha River in West Virginia as well. Um, they took it to a vote, and a lot of uh, West Virginians wanted to, um, a lot of people in the mountains at that time, because it wasn't called West Virginia, it was just a, a place in the Appalachian Mountains, which are one of the oldest mountain chains in the world. Uh, West Virginia actually has one of the oldest rivers in the world, uh, which goes right through the Appalachian Mountains. Now, um, back to the history of why it became a state. Uh, West Virginia is in the northwestern part of what was once Virginia. And as we learned a few days ago, actually last Friday, uh, if you attended class that day, uh, we learned the capital of Virginia is Richmond, Virginia. And that's been the case for quite some time. Richmond, Virginia is one of the most historic cities in the United States. Um, so back when uh, West Virginia was becoming a state, uh, one of the reasons was is because the capital of Virginia was so far away. Um, so there's an expression in West Virginia now. It's uh, West Virginia. We're not close to Richmond, Virginia. So also slavery had a lot to do with it as well. I should touch on that too. Uh, yesterday was Martin Luther King Day. So if you missed yesterday's class, uh, that uh, stream is available on YouTube, a whole playlist of every state so the stream of yesterday of georgia martin luther king um, but as far as slavery goes uh west virginia was um, the people that is now in west virginia the mountain people uh, they were self-serving uh, individuals that didn't believe in slavery uh, they were farmers who worked very hard um, on the state emblem of west virginia there's a picture of a miner and a farmer um, so even back in the 1860s before west virginia was even a state uh, they had a, a mountaineer spirit living in the mountains being free uh, slavery wasn't something that they uh, that they uh, believed in um, whereas in the southern plantations in the south hey lucky i'm going to the lucky's got a new pink collar and pink id uh, so um what were we talking about? <laughs> Mermaid. Lucky. Zip. He was so pretty lucky. Lucky, don't jump on that. 
Okay, so, uh, what, what, uh, can, uh, Mrs. J, um, what, where was I? Um, well, of course, we're talking about West Virginia. Um, I think I've only said positive things so far, so let's say some negative. <laughs> uh, West Virginia, it's known for uh, inbreeding. Inbreeding is very popular there. Very popular. Her name. Zen. I don't know. Lucky distracted me. L O L. Hmm. Lucky distracted me too. Uh, something else that's popular in West Virginia is bestiality. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's one of the only states in the United States in the world, actually, where bestiality is legal. Don't worry, Lucky. You're okay. Um, so uh, yeah, West Virginia is known for inbreeding <laughs> and also bestiality um it's one of the smaller states uh population wise and area wise there's just over a million people um between one and two million i think there's like 1.7 million it's a tiny state uh with five electoral votes trump won west virginia uh trump won the five electoral votes in west virginia with a whopping 68.6%. That's higher than Montana, uh, higher than, um, what's another big red state? Uh, Wyoming, uh, Texas, Texas isn't as red anymore. But yeah, Trump won with almost 70% of the vote. That's unheard of. One of the main reasons that Trump did so well. Arkansas. Arkansas, yes, also another big Trump state. Um, but none of them are that high. None of them are at 68.5%. And so you do a little research, do a Google search. Why did so many people vote for Donald Trump in West Virginia? Well, uh, West Virginia, on their state emblem, which I'll show you in a second here, has a picture of a farmer. Even though they, they don't grow very many fruits and vegetables, they're more about livestock. Um, but regardless, uh, they have a farmer and a coal miner because coal mining... Uh, has always been important in West Virginia, and they've always had uh, some of the largest coal mining facilities, plant, uh, coal mines in the United States. So, um, you know, they hear uh, the current president-elect Biden uh, talk about how, you know, he's shutting down all the coal plants. And uh, West Virginia, it's already one of the poorest places in the United States. It's in the heart of the Appalachian Mountains. It's known as the Mountain State. Uh, it's one of the most impoverished places in the America, in the United States. Um, once you get further east on the East Coast, you know, you have a lot more wealthier areas. Uh, West Virginia, it's the most northern southern state and the most southern northern state, if that makes sense. Uh, so it's right there in the middle. Um, they don't grow very many crops there. Yesterday we studied Georgia. Here, I'll help you, Lucky. Oh, good kitty. Lucky walked around the computer. Good girl. So... Uh, yesterday we said that in Georgia, which is basically, other than Hawaii, uh, the farmer's dream and agricultural king of the United States. West Virginia is not the same. Uh, West Virginia, they have to make buy with whatever grows there. And if you know anything about farming, uh, things do not grow very well in the mountains. Um, apples, mountain apples, uh, soybeans, tobacco. Um, corn, but it's not sweet corn, it's corn for grain to feed their animals. Peaches do grow in West Virginia, they're known to have good peaches, and wheat. Um, that's about it. Um, what else? Um, well, we talked about how it was originally going to be called Kanawa. Um, uh, well, uh, we talked about how it's one of the only two states to form during the Civil War. Uh, we talked about the coal mines. Uh, still, their top industries of today is coal mines, metals, chemicals, and bestiality. <laughs> no, that's 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 just a joke. I'm gonna like joke about West Virginia a little bit. Uh, the capital of West Virginia is Charleston, West Virginia. Funny story. <laughs> it used to be Wheeler, West Virginia. Population like 40,000. Uh, not that Charleston has very many. Charleston is a small city inside Charleston city limits, uh, which has a nice river that goes through it. Um, it's only like 40,000 people. There is a Charleston metro area that has about 250,000 people, 200,000, 250,000 people. And that's the biggest, and that's a quarter of the state, right? There's just over a million people in the whole state. 
So, uh, and a quarter of them live in the Charleston uh, metro area. Uh, one thing um, that you hear about uh, during uh, West Virginia is, um, what was that uh, place called? There was the, uh, the very first shot, the famous battle of the Civil War, Harper's Ferry, that's it. Harper's Ferry um, is somewhere, is a very popular tourist destination in West Virginia. Uh, it's where the Shenandoah River meets the Potomac River. Uh, so it's got a really uh, nice uh, southern charm to it. And uh, all the houses are like 18th century. Um, so they, they, they kept everything. There was a famous Civil War battle there, and they basically uh, have kept the town in place um, exactly how it was then. Uh, and a lot of the uh, homes are walk-in, walk -in, tourist-friendly uh, living museums. So it's probably one of the most uh, tourist heavy places in the whole state. That in Charleston. Charleston uh, has a skyline. It's the only city and it's a small city in the entire state. Um, I want to see if uh, Google knows about uh, uh, Harper's Ferry. I'm pretty sure he does. Or she. Um, <clears throat> hey Google. Volume 8. Hey Google. Tell me about Harper's Ferry. Here's some information about Harper's Ferry. Harper's Ferry is a town in West Virginia. Paths wind through Harper's Ferry National Historical Park, which has 19th century buildings, a Civil War museum and John Brown's Fort, a key site in an 1859 abolitionist raid. The location where the Potomac and Shenandoah Rivers meet, known as the Point, offers views of Maryland and Virginia. The Appalachian Trail Visitor Center has exhibits on the long distance hiking trail. Hey Google, pause. So, uh, Harper's Ferry, it's also the Appalachian Trail. Um, you know, Appalachian Trail goes right through Harper's Ferry. Um, you know, like I said, it's a. Sorry, I didn't understand. Hey Google, pause. Um, so, yeah, um, Harper's Ferry, uh, there's six national parks in. Um, the state of West Virginia, including Harper's Ferry. Um, some of the, um, so yeah, Harper's Ferry is one of the most uh, traveled areas other than Charleston. Uh, Charleston uh, is the largest city. That's what I was going to talk about earlier, Mrs. J. Uh, Charleston is the capital of West Virginia, but Wheeler actually uh, was the previous capital. Um, and then they moved it back to Charleston, and then they moved it back to Wheeler, and then they moved it back to Charleston. There's been a long feud with moving the capital from Charleston to Wheeler, West Virginia. Uh, Wheeler, West Virginia, it only has a like, population of 50,000. Like I said, Charleston, West Virginia, um, you know, it does have a metro area of about 200,000. So, hey Google, volume two. Hey Google, Mozart. Uh, I think you want to change the volume. Is that right? Yes. Okay. Um, Sorry. I didn't get that. What do you want to set the volume to? Two. Okay. As of 5.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time today, Two Harbors Investment Corp. is trading at $6.30 per share on NYSE after hours, with no change from closing. Hey Google, how about that Chevy stock? It's hard to say. Okay, anyways. Hey Google, what's the abbreviation for Chevy? On the website FordFZone.com. Never mind, say, just never mind. Chevrolet equals cheap, hey, hardly efficient. Hey Google, shut up. Okay. <sighs> Continuing. Uh, so yeah, um, West Virginia, it's a mountain state. They're known, uh, you know, for uh, being kind of, um, you know, hillbilly. Uh, I don't know what the, what's the politically correct term for hillbilly. I don't know. Redneck? Is that okay? Uh, but yeah, Charleston, West Virginia uh, is what we're talking about. The Elk River uh, and the Kanawha River both go through Charleston. Uh, so it has these nice scenic river walks through its downtown area. Uh, the downtown market area has a huge freight station, uh, which is little restaurants and each little freight car. Um, so it's a really... Uh, you know, popular place. And then they have the uh, Clay Center for the Arts, uh, which has a theater, um, a, a uh, auditorium, 
and a few other uh, in a museum as well. Okay, uh, what else before we start the uh, presentation? Um, one of the largest underground bunkers in the world was at the Greenbrier Hotel. Um, that's located in West Virginia. Uh, that was discovered by the Washington Post, I believe. Um, sometime in the 90s, I learned about this in journalism school. Uh, it's a huge, uh, they had this hotel, the Greenbrier Hotel. I'm sure you've probably heard the story. And um, they found out there's this, there was a huge underground bunker uh, made for uh, both, both heads of Congress, the Senate and the House of Representatives, the President, uh, everybody, all the, all the forms of government. It's like a safe house bunker. So if there was ever a nuclear war, um, you know, they would send um, all, of our, all of our politicians and all of Washington, D.C. Uh, to this underground bunker in West Virginia. Um, but then uh, the press found out about it and the media, you know, told everybody. Uh, so they, you know, disactivated it. It's, it's inactive now. They inactivated it. They deactivated it. Oh, you said inactive. I meant deactive, okay? They deactivated it, okay? It's still there, the Greenbrier Hotel. It's a uh, tourist attraction now. All right, um, Kanawha was the original name of West Virginia. What else? Uh, Mothman. You've heard me talk about Mothman. I've seen Mothman in uh, Hawaii. I don't know. He must have flown a long way because he was originally spotted in West Virginia. And the Mothman that I saw was exactly like the Mothman uh, that I saw here in Hawaii. And it was reported by dozens of people, uh, Mothman in West Virginia. Mothman the legend. Uh, yes, Mothman uh, was first discovered in, was first spotted in West Virginia. Uh, and uh, the, uh, 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 and then the media just ran to the story. And so now when you go to certain parts of West Virginia, you'll see these huge Mothman statues. And uh, when the people saw it, uh, you know, a lot of cred credible people saw this Mothman. It was like police officers, firefighters, teachers. Um, uh, so it was really, uh, you know, an incredible thing. So yeah, Mothman originated in West Virginia. Um, something else that originated in West Virginia is outdoor advertisements. Uh, that you see on the side of the road, or they called billboards. Uh, the first billboards ever um, came in West Virginia because uh, people had long stretches of driving. And so somebody in West Virginia came up with the idea to advertise the restaurant. Uh, it was a great success. And so more people started coming up with billboards. And before you know it, there's billboards all across the United States and throughout the Milky Way galaxy, probably. Continuing. <laughs> So the largest university in West Virginia is West Virginia University. It's actually in the Big 12. The Big 12 is the conference that uh, the University of Texas basically owns. Them and OU. OU and UT, uh, they basically own the Big 12. And then they have all the secondary schools like uh, West Virginia or Oklahoma State or Baylor. You know, So it's kind of weird how they do it like that, but it is what it is. So. Uh, Nebraska used to be in the Big 12. We learned about Nebraska a few weeks ago. Uh, but they were kicked out because uh, they're just not too cool, I guess. Um, so, biggest industries in West Virginia, chemicals, coal. Uh, they do have some tourism. Um, and that's about it. It's one of the poorest places in the United States. A lot of stuff doesn't grow there. Uh, the Appalachian Trail is there. One of the oldest mountain chains in the world is the Appalachian Mountain Chain. And it also has one of the oldest rivers in the world. Uh, hey Google, volume eight. Hey Google, what's the river that's uh, in the Appalachian Trail? Rivers frequently mentioned on the web include the New River, the James River, the Housatonic River, and others. <sighs> okay. Um, all right. What's Hey Google? What's one of the, What's the oldest river in the United States? Here's what I understood from the website nps.gov. The New River is the oldest river in North America. Do you want a little more context? Yes. Okay, uh, he's 
is not gonna answer. Did you hear me? I said yes, Google. Okay, whatever. Um, something else that West Virginia is known for is Mother's Day and Grandparents' Day. Uh, the person that came up with Mother's Day, uh, Mrs. Reeves was her name. I remember because you know her last name's Reeves. Um, she actually didn't have any kids. Yeah, the lady uh, um, that came up with Mother's Day didn't have kids. It was actually for her mother, who she missed very much. Um, it was for widowed women, too. She started a club of uh, women who lost their husbands during the Civil War uh, in West Virginia. Uh, when, women who lost um, their kids, women who lost people, and it was a, a, a grieving thing. Uh, the last thing that she wanted was it to be commercialized and for them to sell greeting cards and Mother's chocolates and murder. flowers and this and that. Said, yeah, Mother's Day is for your mother, not people with kids. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, yeah, um, she, Mother's Day is for your mother. No, because that makes sense. But, um, but yeah, but she didn't want it to be commercialized at all. And she didn't want them to sell Hallmark cards and this and that. And, uh... She spent her life uh, preaching against the uh, commercialness of uh, Mother's Day. Uh, Grandparents' Day also uh, originated in West Virginia. Uh, the first public spa um, happened in West Virginia. Uh, must have been a nice time. Um, I, went, I mentioned the University of West Virginia. That's pretty much the major university there. I, I actually can't think of another major school in West Virginia. Hey, Google. What are the uh, universities in the state of West Virginia? West Virginia is home to 44 colleges and universities. Here are the first three, West Virginia University, West Virginia State University, and West Virginia Wesleyan College. Wow, I've never heard of West Virginia State, but it's gotta be a shitty school. I mean, if, if you're West Virginia State, it's like go to the, another state, dude. Um, and then Wesley, never heard of that school either. That's not the Wesley on the East Coast, obviously. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, West Virginia University, uh, they're known as the Mountaineers. Um, the the uh, state seal of West Virginia, um, you know, um, I usually talk about the Latin state seal. Uh, on West Virginia's, it's uh, Montanium per Libre. And that means uh, Mountaineers are always free. Montanium per Per libre. Right on the board. Okay. Mon tan sum per libre. And what that means is mountaineers are always free. And they came up with that slogan during the Civil War. You guys see that? Montanzium per libre. Mountaineers are always free. Montanzium per libre. Say it with me, class. Montanzium per libre. Mountaineers are always free. Hey, Google, volume two. Hey, Google, uh, play Mozart. So that's on the uh, state. Playing Wolfgang Amadeus hey, Mozart. Pause. So that's the state logo. Like I said, each state has nicknames and logo. Uh, the nickname for the state of West Virginia is the Mountain State because it's in the mountains. Um, the logo, it's usually in Latin, Montanzium per libre. Montanzium per libre. Mountaineers are always free. So, I mean, that's really interesting. Um, one thing that I've learned about West Virginia is they have a real uh, a select identity. They don't fall in with the crowd and they march to their own beat. Um, what else? I mentioned that it has a, a, like six or seven national parks in the state of West Virginia. Uh, one of the most uh, well-known uh, public college radio stations, it's just a public station like NPR, is uh, KTSQ Radio. Um, that's available on TuneIn. Uh, and a bunch of other places as well. Uh, I'm sure Google knows about that. It's kind of like KVRX or KEXP. Hey Google. Um, the uh, Hey Google, just wait one second. So those are some of the uh, you know more famous. Okay. 
college radio stations in the United States, uh, KEXP in Seattle at the University of Washington, and uh, KBRX and KUT at the University of Texas. Hey Google, what is the radio station WTSQ known for? I don't know if I'm on the website WTSQ.org, they say, this nonprofit 501c3 based station began in 2015 with a mission to serve the Charleston area with independent radio. Do you want a little more context? Yes, please. This nonprofit based station began in 2015 with a mission to serve the Charleston area with independent radio. Fueled by a passionate group of community volunteers, the station broadcasts a variety of genre-themed shows, local news and events, along with remote broadcasts from the city. Okay. Hey, Google, pause music. Um, so there you have it. You know, it's a radio station that's uh, become well-known in just a few years uh, be uh, because of what they're doing. There's also a station in Maui as well, um, like that, a community-owned, community-ran uh, newspaper station. Uh, so I mentioned Mothman, been spotted throughout West Virginia mountains. Uh, what else? I mentioned the National Park. I mentioned uh, the Oldest River, the Hotel Bunker. Um, well, we'll go over like the state bird and everything. The state bird is the cardinal. The state flowers, the Rona Dundren. Um, I don't know. It's pretty hard to pronounce. Um, and uh, some of the uh, the state insects is the honeybee. Some of the mammals that you would see there are uh, squirrels. Bats, chipmunks, skunks, flying Come squirrels, on, brown squirrels, red squirrels, uh, red fox, oh, yeah, right. cottontail rabbit, um, what else, black bears, uh, not grizzly bears, um, snakes, rattlesnakes, copperhead snakes, um, that's, that's about it, those snakes. Okay, yeah, Rahona Drundrin. We'll show we'll show pictures of that in a second. Um, another thing uh, uh, that they're known for, besides bestiality and inbreeding, um, is their Capitol building. The Capitol building in the state of West Virginia is uh, a gold-topped Capitol building. Um, I guess there's a lot of uh, jokes you can make about that. Um, but yeah, there, it looks like the Washington Capitol, except it has like a gold condom on the tip, basically. Um, okay, so uh, shout out to everybody watching on YouTube if you want to know more about me. Uh, my website's on the screen right there, uh, gxnetwork.live. It has a resume and my background and experience. My background and experience teaching and where I went to school and everything like that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start the uh, uh, presentation now. Um, so once again, if you're watching this on YouTube, special shout out. And special shout out to a good friend of mine. Uh, she lost a, uh, a kitty of hers, Morris, and uh, Morris was a great cat. He lived um, a long life, and uh, he was uh, somebody's, uh, a few, he meant a lot to some people. And, uh, you know, uh, living so close to, uh, you know, individuals from other countries, I see that uh, not everywhere in the world, um, and even in parts of the United States, uh, cats and dogs aren't respected like they should be. Like you hear that, I've heard that in Hawaii, you know, the majority of the people are from other countries and, or you, not the majority, but a lot of people are from other countries. And I've heard the expression too many times here, oh, it's just a cat, just a cat. Why do you feed the cats? Like they don't understand, but like, hey, um, you're in the United States now and this is 2021, okay? So we're not backwards people anymore. And we take care of our animals and we treat them like our, our children. And so disrespecting uh, an animal at any time or being mean to an animal of any kind, even if it's just talking insensitively, then um, that that's not called for it. And that's all 33. Said. Agreed. Thank you. Said. Blue heart wants a love to that person. Thank you so much for the uh, subscription. Where's my bell? Lucky you took the bell. Ding, ding. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, um, Moore's was an orange kitty. Uh, that's my favorite kind of kitties are orange kitties. They're the most laid back and um, the best sidekicks. 
Um, they're the most tame, and uh, they they make different. the best friends. That's it. Dude, if you want to use, you shouldn't have an annoying speaker. Read the chat yourself. Okay, um, probably should time out that person. Um, I, I don't need any advice from you, dude, at all. Uh, this is quality programming. Uh, this is good content. Uh, we're streaming in 1080p. I'm using two uh, professional lights here. Uh, we have a, uh, the presentation is about to start. So uh, you can take your uh, criticism elsewhere. Just, uh, I'm not going to change for you, kid. Hi, Mr. G. Uh, sorry, I can't say hi back because the uh, previous person uh, ruined that for you. So, uh, once again, that's everything um, that I know about West Virginia. I wanted to give a shout out to Morris, so don't ruin the moment, kid. And uh, everybody, uh, if you see a hungry cat, help a hungry cat. Because if you see a hungry cat, the reason that cat is hungry is because a human didn't Morris do their job in taking care of the cat. Sick. Morris. Do you know why there's more homeless kitties in poor neighborhoods than in wealthier neighborhoods? Because in wealthier neighborhoods, they're more likely to get their pets fixed. They're more likely to take their pets to the vet. Um, also, uh, where you have neighborhoods with a lot of uh, immigrants from other countries where cats and dogs aren't as well respected, they break animal laws many times and just leave them and abandon them. And that's something that's very much illegal and is a felony in most states. So if you're going to live in this country, learn to respect the laws. Maybe in the country that you're from, people aren't as uh, respectful to cats and the laws, um, you know, reflect that. However, in this country, and I'm in a major American city in this country of the United States, you need to respect the laws of the United States. And the laws of the United States protect animals like cats. Even if they're outside, they're still protected. And guess what? There's millions of powerful people like myself that protect cats. I'm a cat protector, and I'm the guy that you don't want to mess with. You might be able to mess with a little cat, but you won't be so easy with me, will ya? So with that being said, don't mess with cats. All right, once again, starting with the presentation. The new merch is here, pop jam, check it out. HTTPS colon slash slash merch dot As you can see, I made a wonderful little uh, a little uh, notification banner for today. Uh, once again, tomorrow's state is uh, Delaware. And uh, before we start the presentation, I am just going to grab me a drink really quickly here. And uh, so I will be back in uh, just one second. Just going to pour me a little glass of wine here. It's just to rub it in on the haters. You can uh, look at my nice little screensaver there, buddy. Beautiful, beautiful. Hey Google, play Mozart. Sure. Here's Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart on Pandora. Pause. 
All right. Continuing on. Um, yeah, a lot of these streamers that you think have got so many viewers, they really have thousands of bots. Um, anyways, I don't talk about them if you haven't noticed, and I don't talk about my neighbors either. But um, if you want to follow this class and you want to be part of this class and this community, uh, you can follow the Instagram on the screen here. Uh, this Instagram is dedicated just for this class, so you won't get uh, my cat pics on this Instagram that's on the screen. The Instagram that's on the screen, you'll get updates um, for what's going to happen on this class. Uh, this class um, airs live Monday through Friday, at normally at 12 p.m. HTTPS colon slash slash www.instagram.com slash MRG live stream. So, uh, yeah, follow that Instagram to get updates on the class. And if you're not interested in updates on the class, then why the hell are you watching this? Leave. Go uh, get a hobby. Go to the park. Take a walk. Talk to a girl. Anything. But if you're not with me, then get the hell out of here. All right? So, uh, I just wanted to bring that to your attention. We're going to start the presentation uh, now. Just wanted to shout out my website there. And uh, we'll start with the state flag of West Virginia. Also, I, I, I've been adjusting the audio levels. Um, I think the audio is just right now. Uh, I might go ahead and start using a wireless mic, but uh, well, I guess we'll see. So this is the state flag of West Virginia. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, they have a coal miner and a farmer. And then they have the motto written in Latin, Montansium per libre, which we learned mountaineers are always free. The state bird of West Virginia is the cardinal, similar to the state bird of Georgia, the cardinal. Uh, the uh, state flower, like we mentioned, is the Rona dundron. And uh, I'm not pronouncing that correctly, but it's a really nice flower, and I like the word too. Um, also, uh, bring up the state flag again and the state seal. Uh, you can see there's rhododendron uh, all along the, uh, the edges, the green and uh, red flower there um, is the state flower rhododendron, uh, which, you know, goes back a uh, good long distance. You did good. Rhododendron. Rhododendron. <laughs> So, uh, time for fun facts. Uh, some fun facts of West Virginia. Biscuits come with gravy. Uh, shopping carts called buggies. You put slaw on your hot dog. You never disrespect your elders. Elders, y'all is a proper pronoun. And we talk to strangers in West Virginia. So, some more fun facts about West Virginia. Personally, I've never been to West Virginia. But I did, um, I did spend a Christmas in West Virginia. I'll mention that. There once, uh, I, I did fail to mention earlier. Oh, this, by the way, is your teacher's Instagram, Mr. G. I'm the teacher. Yes, this is my fucking freaking class, and I'm the teacher. Yeah. Do you have a problem with that? This is my house, my bedroom. Do you have a problem with that? Do you have a problem with me walking and talking and breathing? Apparently you do. Seems kind of sociopathic. You should probably talk to a therapist. So thank you, Mrs. J. So my history with West Virginia is uh, there was in Christmas 2006, I was working for a call center. I mentioned this in my book, Guns Education. I mentioned West Virginia in this book, Gonzo Education. I talk about um, how I had a job fixing a basic IT computer job, fixing people's computer problems in West Virginia. So that's when I learned the population of West Virginia being so small and all of my calls being to are from West Virginia. Uh, and I remember working on Christmas Eve and then on Christmas Day, and I didn't get a sing I maybe got one call the whole time on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And, uh, you know, it's because, you know, not many people uh, in West Virginia are calling um, computer help technicians on Christmas Eve. Uh, but I did get to know West Virginia working on that job, and I did uh, realize that they were very friendly people. Um, they're very uh, simple. Uh, they weren't really good at computers. Normally, they would just want to know where the on switch was or something like that. Uh, but I did realize that they were good-hearted people. 
One another thing I didn't mention about West Virginia is they're known to skew their statistics, uh, and that goes from everything. And if you look at more recently, I don't even need to look at it, but uh, um, if you look at the coronavirus statistics, I guarantee you West Virginia they have the lowest statistics. Pro- I'm, I'm assuming that they have the lowest numbers of any states around them, and that's because other than Illinois, and particularly Chicago, Illinois, West Virginia is known as being one of the most corrupt states, probably the second most corrupt. Louisiana is also known as, and Hawaii are also known as corrupt states as well. Uh, so West Virginia, Hawaii, Louisiana, and Illinois. Uh, but uh, West Virginia is also known to uh, skew their statistics. So if you ever get any statistics from West Virginia, realize that it's most likely bullshit. All right, uh, continuing with our uh, presentation here. So uh, some more fun facts about West Virginia. Uh, West Virginia, it's not near Richmond, Virginia. It's a a phrase, expression there. Uh, West Virginia is actually a separate state, having seceded from the Confederate state of Virginia in 1861 during the Civil War. Uh, We mentioned the only other state to be admitted to the Union during the Civil War was the state of Nevada, also done uh, by Abraham Lincoln. Uh, the Beverly Hillbillies were from Tennessee, not West Virginia. The movie Deliverance was set in Georgia. We learned that yesterday, not West Virginia. Larry the Cable Guy is not from West Virginia, but Chuck Yeager, Pearl Buck, Jerry West, Randy Moss, Mary Lou Retton, and Nick Saban are all from West Virginia. I didn't know Nick Saban was from West Virginia. You assume he's from Alabama, right? So, uh, some geography facts. West Virginia is an eastern state. It's bordered by Ohio, Pennsylvania, Maryland, Virginia, and Kentucky. The Ohio River forms a border with Virginia and Ohio, and the Tug Fork River uh, forms a border between West Virginia and Kentucky. Uh, once again, I also mentioned that the uh, Shenandoah meets the Shenandoah River meets the Potomac River uh, right at Harper's Ferry, a very historic. Uh, location not only in the Civil War but also in the Revolutionary War as well. Um, continuing on, um, some more fun facts about West Virginia. Uh, West Virginia covers about 24,000 square miles uh, but has a very small population of 1.8 million. 75% of West Virginia is covered by forest and it's in the Appalachian Mountains so a lot of times they say it's tree covered. Appalachian Mountains. It's not known as a southern state, it's known as an eastern state, and uh, 15% of the nation's total coal production uh, come from West Virginia. It used to be a lot higher, uh, but now they have a lot of restrictions on the amount of coal that you can actually um, produce in, in, West, in the United States. Uh, the state animal is the black bear. Uh, they did have a population in the 60s of like 500 to 1,000, and they were on the endangered list, or threatened list at least, I should say. Uh, since then, their numbers have gone up immensely, so there's an estimated 10 to 12,000 black bears in the uh, state of West Virginia. Uh, it's the 38th most popular state. Um, ramps is a popular food, as well as pepperoni rolls. Moral and mushrooms, beans and cornbread. Um, we'll, uh, we'll look at pictures of all those things in a minute. Uh, West Virginia Hills is the Hello, state song. Hello, mermaid. Said, I hear black bears aren't that dangerous. I don't know if that's true. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't risk it, <laughs> Mrs. J. Um, so, one of the uh, top agricultural products in West Virginia is cattle. Uh, cattle and chickens, actually. Uh, most of the uh, vegetables that they grow are for grain for these uh, agriculture products. I mean, for the livestock that they have there. Now, I know you guys are uh, interested in the food. Um, so let me just show you uh, one more thing that's popular in West Virginia, and that's Bigfoot hunting. You can actually get a uh, Sasquatch hunting permit in the state of West Virginia. So they don't only have Mothman, they also have Sasquatch. So, uh, some of the famous foods in West Virginia, pepperoni rolls, um, were invented in West Virginia. Nobody disputes this either. My boo-boo got a picnic basket. <laughs> boo-boo got a picnic basket. Uh, pepperoni rolls, they were invented in West Virginia. Something else popular in West Virginia, biscuits and gravy, 
and they don't always use the uh, gravy, the uh, cream gravy that's usually with it. So it's a lot of times it's all different kinds of gravy. Another popular food in West Virginia is grape and Gonzalo pizza. Have, has anybody had this? I've never had this before. But I mean, a lot of people think pineapple on pizza is weird, but uh, I think grape and gonzola is weird. So one thing that's popular there as well as the South is skillet cornbread. Um, I've made skillet cornbread. It comes out pretty good. It's the best way to make it. Uh, something else that's really popular is ramps and fried potatoes. I've had peach and pancetown pizza. Oh yeah, I had dessert pizza once. It was good. Uh, ramps and fried potatoes, something that's really popular in um, West Virginia. And also, uh, they're kind of like leeks. So, uh, more about cornbread. Beans and cornbread, popular dish in West Virginia. Another thing that you can get at just about every restaurant in West Virginia is a baked steak and gravy. So, they actually bake the steak uh, instead of broil it. Something else popular in West Virginia, apple dumplings. Apple dumplings uh, were invented in West Virginia. Another popular lunch special in West Virginia is a fried fish sandwich. And you never toast the bread, apparently. Um, this is something a good popular breakfast meal in West Virginia is buckwheat pancakes. And as I mentioned earlier, uh, wheat um, is uh, one of the popular agriculture products in West Virginia. The number one uh, crop in West Virginia is hay, and the hay is there just to feed the livestock. Number two is corn, but it's like I said, it's not sweet corn, it's corn for grain. So, buckwheat pancakes, popular. Um, also popular in Virginia, morals, aka uh, molly moochers. Uh, those are morel mushrooms. And you see them commonly in Oregon, but they're very rare in uh, West Virginia. Also, uh, you, what's common in West Virginia is meatloaf and mashed potatoes, but they serve it like this, all gourmet style. And you can get this at just about any restaurant, too. Something else popular in West Virginia is fresh rainbow trout. Looks pretty good. So, uh, one of the most popular uh, breakfast foods is the Mountaineer Biscuit, which you can get at Biscuit World. And, uh, you know, you can have a, a, a wide variety of uh, toppings on there, apparently. So, something else that's a specialty is the pot roast melt. So, pot roast melt is a common sandwich. Uh, and I guess it's, you know, a pot roast melt. Uh, wild game, you know, of all kinds is popular in West Virginia. And that goes for elk, uh, skunk, possum, rabbit, flying squirrel. Uh, they, they eat it all there. And, uh, you know, sometimes that's all they had to eat. Venison, of course. Um, so barbecue is very common and very popular. Barbecue ribs. But then they have Appalachian barbecue. Now, I'm not really sure what the difference between Appalachian barbecue and regular barbecue is. Let's go. Let's ask Google. Maybe they know. Hey, Google, what is Appalachian barbecue? Sorry, I don't have any information about that. Okay, he doesn't know it either. But apparently it's barbecue uh, with venison and squirrel and all those yummy different things uh, that we talked about. Venison stew. Also very popular in West Virginia. I guess, you know, there's a lot of deer running around. Uh, this is a double cut pork chop. Something that you can only get in West Virginia. Um, I guess it's an oversized pork chop. Um, I, I don't know, maybe Google knows. Hey Google, what is a double cut pork chop? Here's a summary from the website SeriousEats.com. Get the recipe. First up, double cut pork chops. With a thick double cut chop, this can be tricky. Okay, that's nice. Hey Google, what is a uh, green briar peach? On the website store.greenbriar.com, they say, the Greenbriar Resort's famous peaches are one of the most popular desserts at America's Resort and one of the most popular gifts. All now, right. so Google can improve. Was that information helpful? 
Yes, it was Google. Thanks. So that's the Greenbrier peaches, some of the world's most famous peaches. Um, next, we have a West Virginia dog. Hey, Google, what is a West Virginia dog? On the website wvgazettemail.com, they say, the West Virginia hot dog comes with chili, slaw, mustard, and onions. Okay. All right, and uh, last up, we have a couple alcoholic drinks. Uh, we have West Virginia Moonshine, very popular beverage there, as well as West Virginia Margaritas. And uh, West Virginia also has an increase in the Latin population, the, um, yeah, the Latino population as well. Um, uh, there's a few uh, spots in West Virginia that are uh, exceedingly growing um, with Latinos. So, uh, with that being said, um, I'm going to go ahead and pour me some, uh, well, I already poured me some, uh, this isn't uh, West Virginia moonshine, this is uh, red wine, uh, but I'm going to drink some. <laughs> Good. Okay, continuing on, continuing on. So those are some of the famous foods in West Virginia. Uh, once again, if you want to know about me, your teacher, my credentials, you can go to my website right there. It says a lot about me. Also talks more about my book, different things I've been through in my life. All right, some of the more famous people from West Virginia. Don Knotts is from West Virginia. Jennifer Garner, also West Virginian. Somebody from West Virginia, you call them West Virginians, a.k.a. inbreeds. Just kidding. <laughs> Jennifer Gardner, she's got inbreed written all over her. No, not just kidding. Uh, somebody else from West Virginia, Steve Harvey. Famous uh, movie actor, Steve Harvey. I think he was in uh, Lethal Weapon. And also famous uh, game show host, John Corbett. I think he, he hosts uh, Family Feud, if I'm not mistaken, or Blind Date, actually. Blind Date, I think he's the host of. He was also in that movie about the Greek wedding, too, right? All right, so those are uh, famous foods Seth, in West Virginia. Steve Harvey is Family Feud. Steve Harvey, Family Feud, that's right. That's right. So uh, those were uh, famous uh, people from West Virginia, famous foods in West Virginia. And I told you about uh, my own experience with West Virginia answering their computer problems uh, when I worked at a computer technician in Austin, Texas. So, um, we're going to uh, play the uh, West Virginia State song. And I was going to show you some pictures of the Capitol building and a few other things. Uh, the Shenandoah Valley, the Shenandoah River. Uh, you know, maybe some, I don't, I don't have any Mothman picks, but um, I hope you enjoyed the class today. It was a late class. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, don't be a hater. Give me a thumbs up. We're not in like middle school together. Thanks, Mr. G, for um, another great lesson and teaching. You're welcome, Mrs. Really J. Uh, thank you uh, for being a great assistant. And uh, we missed Countryman today, but uh, Mrs. J, Countryman Cody, uh, once we start getting a lot more uh, attendance in this class, um, I'll change the text to speech so just you guys will be able to talk and you guys will be the ones uh, helping me out and encouraging the class as well. Other people, they're going to have to pay to say something. But you guys, you guys can always talk for free. Uh, and, 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 and that's one thing that you can trust me on. I'm very loyal. You talk to people that have known me 10 years ago, 20 years ago, same story, golden rule. If you're nice to me, I'll always be nice to you. If you do me wrong, I won't mess with you. I mean, I, I won't even f with you. You know, you know. And I, and I do my own thing. Uh, look, at people have, have have come on me over and over again in life, wrongfully so. Uh, you know, the world is full of horrible people that will try to ruin somebody's life for content or for fun. They try to take people's money with bots and with fake donations and fake viewers and all this. I'm not doing that. I I didn't even have donations on today. 
So I, I appreciate all you guys. I enjoy doing this and I'm offering a service here. This is something that I was paid, you know, and I still am paid for on other jobs as well, doing this, teaching. It's something I'm good at and it's something I enjoy doing. So I appreciate all of you. It's only Tuesday. We got three more days this week, next week, and every weekday I'm doing this. And they're not going to stop me. They want to stop me, but they're not going to. Uh, so I appreciate all you guys coming to class. Uh, we'll have a class again early tomorrow, earlier than today. And uh, thanks again. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, check out the uh, Instagram page. Follow me on Instagram for updates to this class. And also, uh, if you look in the description on YouTube here, if you're watching on YouTube, join the Discord and everything like that. Um, why would anybody want to silence me anyways? Like, if you're not interested in learning about West Virginia, that's fine. But why do you want to silence me from talking about West Virginia or tomorrow we're talking about Delaware or on Thursday we're talking about New Jersey or on Friday we're going to learn all about New York. So what do you got a problem with that? What would anybody have a problem with that? Hmm. Are they scared? Do they not have any talent or ability or the, um, the chutzpah to create their own content? Is that the issue? Because I'm not worried about them. You know, I'm doing my own thing. And thank you guys for coming here. Don't watch them. Watch Mr. G. I'll talk to you guys later. And uh, so I'm going to do the state song of West Virginia here and uh, show you guys some great uh, images as well. everybody uh, have a wonderful day today thank you for joining my class check out the website on the screen if you're watching on youtube don't be a hater i love you guys aloha and merry christmas from peachy to all of you i don't know why i said that <laughs> hey i'll see you guys tomorrow